MrEdTech.com. Hi, Randy Fairfield here, Mr. Ed Tech, and today I'd like to share with you how you can use zip files and Edmodo together um, to really create some neat things uh, for your students. So here's the deal. Zip files, uh, what they do is they take lots of other different files and compress them down together so they don't take up as much memory and then uh, store them in one folder. And so this can be really, really useful if you've got a video or two uh, and lots of image files, especially if they're high resolution um, and maybe other things that you want to put all together into one place. Um, zip files can be a great way to help you solve that problem. Um, so I'm going to share with you an assignment here that I created um, at one point for my students. It was um, concerning child labor laws and um, you can see here there's an assignment with some questions, uh, a couple web links, and then a zip file right here. And inside of the zip file, I have lots of different primary source images that I wanted the students to look at, as well as some other documents. Some of these are laws and some of them are um, newspaper clippings. So there's lots of different content that I wanted students to be able to look at um, at some point. And here, um, you know, it was a way of, for me to do a digital representation of a gallery walk. And so that was um, my idea there. So with all of these images, these are all in what's a zip file right now. And the best way to get the images out of the zip file is to select them all. Uh, it might say, oh, this is going to be harmful. You're like, no, I know what's inside. It's not. Um, I'm going to copy this and then just paste it over into a regular folder over here. So it'll take some time because now the images and maybe if you had videos as well, they all start to decompress and open up in their full um, state right here. Okay. So if I wanted to take all of that and then send it to a zip file like it is in here, how you send stuff to a zip file is as follows. You just select it all, right click, and then it says send to, and you say send to a compressed zipped folder. Uh, once you've done that, it'll take the time to compress and zip everything up all together. And then you can take that zip folder right here, give it whatever name you want, and then you can upload that whole folder to Edmodo um, and have that be something that you include as you know a link, uh, as something that you upload as an attachment to your assignments. So I hope that helps, and I hope you find a lot of uses for that in your classroom, and have a great day.